Hello everyone and happy Wednesday. Today I wanted to come on and answer two of my subscribers question. And here's my big girl Denali Kennedy. This is Denali Kennedy and she is well she's not going to be in this video. I'm just um she's spending the day in my bed because hubby is traveling for work. And whenever hubby travels for work, I always put one of the babies in the bed. So today, uh, uh, Denali is in the bed. All right, but I want to make a video with my little mini. And I want to answer two of my subscribers' question. So let me go ahead and just zoom Chloe in. And here's little Denali. She, she's not so cool. <laughs> yeah, she'll be up soon for a bottle. But anyway, all right, so I'm just going to zoom Chloe in. And Chloe is my 10 inch, no, she is 9 inch. She is my 9 inch mini vinyl reborn doll. Yes. And I decided to come on with Chloe today because of a question that one of my subscribers had asked. All right. Okay, Denali, you can, you know what, let me just rest Denali hand or do we? All right. Okay, so the two questions that I wanted to answer. First of all, there's a lady that had asked me about the mat. She had asked me about the silicone powder. She wanted to know where she can purchase it. She said that she had purchased, she she said that Miss Suzanne from Suzanne Babies had told her where to purchase it, but she had forgotten what she had done with the information. So therefore, I wanted to come on. And now this was a while back. I don't remember exactly where to find the the question that she had asked in the comments I don't remember what video it was so I just decided to come on and share the information now this matting powder is something that came with Denali in her box opening and it's called Jess Matt and to the back of it it has the information it says Jess Matt 3dcreation.com so you can purchase this can you see you can purchase this matte powder for your silicone babies at d3creation.com I'll go ahead and include it in the description also yes and this came with Denali in her box opening and also I had gotten a little sample a little package from Kai's artist Kai is my 10 inch full body silicone baby boy and I had gotten a little sample matting powder from his artist and it's the same powder it's just it's called Jess matte all right so that's the first question that I answered and my apologies for being so late uh, yeah that was a while back and it kept slipping my mind I did say that I would look up the information because I didn't know the information at the time but uh, you know I noticed that this powder has that information listed at the back or to the bottom of the jar so I decided to share that information all right that's the first question now question number two is I uh, there's a subscriber that asked the question after I have collected newborn sized babies and zero to three month sized babies. She wanted to know what made me decide to collect the minis, the little like nine inch, 10 inch baby dolls. Okay, so I'm going to answer that question. I answered it in the comments. I replied to the question and I answered it, but there was a lot of information I wasn't able to include because you know typing on my cell phone that's it was a lot to include so I just gave a short answer and then I decided to come on and answer it in a video all right so 
Let me show you what Chloe is going to wear. And again, Chloe is the wee mouse. She is nine inches tall. And her sculptor is Laura Lee Eagles. And she was reborn by an artist in Russia. I will include the artist's name in the description because I will only ruin the name if I try to pronounce it. Yeah, so she's going to wear a onesie today for onesie Wednesday. And this is the preemie size by Cardis and I had sized it down to a 10 inch onesie and it's in a pink and has like the little cat faces in the color white it's a little girly cat has like the little bow on the air very cute she has like long eyelashes <laughs> very very girly and the onesie is pink and the faces of the cat is white very very pretty and she's going to wear her frill white socks and the frill white socks are uh, I had purchased on eBay I had purchased the smaller size socks and I sized it down to my mini girls uh, size okay so let me go ahead and answer the question so um, do I want to leave this no I think I'm gonna no I'll leave it on just to save time she's wearing a cloth diaper and this cloth diaper was purchased from a seller on eBay all right so I'm not going to put a t-shirt on her. I'm just going to add this onesie because um, the t-shirt I have here is a little bit too big. That will look a little bit too bulky under the t-shirt that I had purchased for Chloe that goes under her onesies. One of the other minis are wearing it. I think uh, her sister is wearing it. Esme is wearing it. All right, so back to my question. So why did I decide to start collecting the little minis uh, in my collection after I've already collected like newborn size and zero to three size? Okay, now the reason why is because I was very curious about the silicone babies. Now let me explain and um, I had purchased Denali a year ago and Denali is this little one here <laughs> this little one that's in my bed Denali and I knew my wait time was was a year I knew that and um, and I always wanted to attend a doll show Especially to for many reasons but for one reason is to be able to see and feel a silicone baby you know you you, you always hear the other mummies on their channel talk about the silicones and call them squishy and you can see that they're soft and they're jiggly but you know you still you still want to be able to see touch and hold a baby a silicone baby in person so I was I always wanted to go to the doll shows number one but in going to the doll show I always wondered about that because I knew at the doll show uh, there's no secret as to the prices of the dolls the prices of the silicone dolls stuff like that and number one my husband had he have no clue as to the true price of these dolls he doesn't know the true price of these dolls if there's a doll that i see that i want to purchase and i ask my honey to contribute what i do is i ask him for the funds that i would like him to contribute towards the doll and therefore i would pay the difference yeah because my husband would have a heart attack if he knew the true prices and i know that for a fact I know that I know him I know his personality I know his character and um, yeah he, he, he there's no way that he would agree you know he would look at it as wasted money so to avoid going to a doll show 
and that creating some problems in our relationship. I just opted not to go. Even though my husband had agreed, I spoke to my husband, I had asked him and he had agreed. In fact, at one point I was looking up the information as to where to stay and you know, the dates. But I was curious because when I watched the videos, I noticed that the prices, there were some dolls, the prices was listed, you know, the, the prices was listed for the doll. So if I'm at the show, if he's at the show, we're looking around, you can clearly see the price for the doll being displayed next to the doll. So I knew that would create some questions and some uh, problems because he would himself would be curious after seeing the prices and probably ask the artist questions about the dolls. Yeah, so I knew that would have created some problem. But what confirmed it for me is one of the mummies in the community had made a video and she mentioned that and she said that there's persons, there's uh, moms in the community that took along their spouse, they took along their husbands, their boyfriend, their spouse. And after their spouse had seen for themselves the prices of the dolls, they realized that um, it created problems in their relationship. In terms of, you know, they wasn't able to buy as much dolls as they wanted because when they had asked their husband, their husband probably disagreed because the husband knew the true price like that. The person made it clear that it created problems in the relationship for these moms. And I could relate to that and that was a fear I had. So after this person confirmed that for me, I said, you know what, I'm not going to do the doll show. And, you know, and, and therefore, now that I'm not able to do the doll show, one day I hope to. And if I get to go one day, I would want to go with one of my dolly sisters in the community. I would, I would love to go like with one of the dolly sisters. So one day still I plan to, because I want to experience it all, I, I, I really do. I want to be able to meet the moms, I want to be able to see, touch and hold a baby. I want to be able to possibly purchase a baby. But my original plan was a silicone. But in deciding to go with the minis, um, oh and another thing, I knew I was not able to do any meetups with any moms. That was another thing. Because if I was able to do a meetup, then I could have made arrangements to meet up with one of the moms who have who have a silicone baby. And then in that way, I would be able to see, touch and feel what a silicone baby is like in person. But you know, I had I did not have that option either. So therefore I knew, I said to myself, in order for me to satisfy my curiosity in terms of the silicone babies, um, I had to purchase a silicone for myself. I purchased Denali and Denali I knew my weight was a, a, I knew my weight was a long time. I knew my weight was like a year. I knew that. So therefore I realized, okay, what can I do? in order to experience what a silicone is. Seeing that Denali is a partial, I started to look into the minis and I decided, you know what, seeing that I have a partial, I paid for the partial, I started to look into purchasing a full body mini silicone baby. And then um, I came across Esme. And Esme is my 10 inch full body silicone baby girl created by Tori Dolls. And one day out of nowhere, I decided to look in, look, you know, on Facebook and her seller had listed her on Facebook for sale. And she was within my price range. She was a good price. She was really a good price. Um, she was less than what I had expected to pay for a full body silicone. But keeping in mind, she's also a boo-boo. She's a boo-boo baby. She has a boo-boo on her face. So, you know, I looked at her. I looked at her for actually two days. I was surprised that no one had purchased her. 
I looked at her for two days and I said, you know what? I can tweak her. I can tweak her. She has a boo-boo, but that boo-boo doesn't have to be a problem. I said to myself, I said, I can have her rooted and uh, in that way, I can experience what it's like to touch and feel and hold a silicone baby even though she's a mini and what I liked about the full body is I was able to uh, to experience having a full body mini and I would be able to take pictures and I would be able to enjoy her the only difference is she's not a cuddle baby she's not one like the little minis I will say you know they're not one that you can hold in your hand and cuddle no I, I don't get that maybe for some persons they do but I don't they're not a cuddling baby for my for me they're just um, like you you just dress them pose them and display them and then you can take pictures but they're definitely not a cuddle baby like Denali and my other babies in terms of a cuddle baby for me I think I have to do 15 inches and up to cuddle I'm not sure about a 14 inch but definitely not 9 and 10 inches definitely not they're more of a display baby yeah so after purchasing my full body silicone baby girl I then decided that I wanted to add a full body silicone baby boy and I looked around and there was I, I had seen one or two really nice ones one that was 10 inch one that was 11 inch out of my price range I will say one was sold on eBay for like 2000 really beautiful little micro mini and he was I think he was 11 inches and he sold for so that was out of my price range definitely so I continue to look and in looking I came across Chloe and Chloe is a uh, she's a vinyl reborn she she has clawed body and she is a reborn doll she was uh, created by an artist in Russia and she is she is vinyl she is not silicone I came across Chloe this was during the time it was my birthday and hubby is always very generous when it comes to my birthday and Christmas so I seen Chloe and I said to myself okay I see what I would like to have for my birthday hubby gave me my birthday funds and I went ahead and I got Chloe and Chloe is she's not a full body but she is a mini I knew that she can share the same clothing that Esme have both girls can wear it so I decided to go with Chloe and I'm happy that I did because she is really gorgeous. She is beautiful. She was uh, painted very, very well. I love like her hair. Her hair is, she's rooted and I love that I can see her skull through her hair. I can see the painting and I can see like the little veining, you know, even through the hair. I love that. She's beautiful. Yeah, so like I said, I came across Chloe during a good time. It was, you know, during my birthday. But I was still in search of a full body little boy. And um, I, didn't, I never gave up on my full body little boy. So I went ahead and I had gotten Chloe. She's a gift from my husband. And I came across Kai's artist. She had uh, posted a beautiful little girl, 10 inch, called Denyla. I had commented, I told her how beautiful Denyla was. And she replied to my comment. I don't remember exactly what she said, but whatever she said made me reply back to her. And I told her that I was in search of a 10 inch many full body silicone baby boy and she mentioned to me that sh she can make the denial sculpt 
into a boy I, for me. I decided to go with the uh, what she would call the David skull because the girl is called Denila, the boy is called David. So I decided to add David to my collection. So that is how I added the, the little minis to my collection, actually. It all began with my curiosity and the silicone babies. And it, it had to do with my budget because after paying what I did for Denali, uh, I didn't want to spend that again. Uh, well, definitely the full body wants some more. And, and that was out of my budget. So I decided to look within uh, the mini and in that way I can get the look and feel of the silicone and I'm someone who loved to take pictures so I knew that I can take pictures with or without the clothing on there's a lot that I can do with the, with the little mini silicone so I decided to go that route I didn't decide to go with the vinyl I just fell in love with this little one and the timing was good it was during my birthday I knew hubby was uh, going to be generous you know he's normally generous during my birthday and Christmas time so I knew that um, the timing for her was good I knew that plus like I said I, I had made up my mind to add a little boy even before I came across little Chloe so that's it I hope I answered your question I hope you understand um, it was it was really difficult to include all that information in the comments yeah all right so thank you all so much for watching and thank you ladies for the question and you have a super great day bye bye